Morning, Debbie. What's up? If I seem a little frantic, it's because there's a front moving in capable of producing a supercell. Maybe even lots of supercells. So we're moving out ASAP. Everyone's already outside. You'll ride with Chase and the... Whoa. Holy cow, that was the jack for Scott's phone. Forget what I was saying. You're going to have to stay here and fix Scott's phone connection. Scott will freak if he comes back and his phone doesn't work. As soon as I finish entering these data, I am out of here. Go on, go fix that phone. Go! But how do I fix a phone? I've never done anything like that. It probably just needs to be rewired. I've seen you work. I know you can figure this out for us. Okay, let's fix that phone. The phone jack is inside Scott's office. Right over here against the wall. It's on fire right now, but the fire will die out eventually. Do 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 do. Come on, Debbie, let's get going. On my way. And now we can solve the phone jack puzzle. The goal for this puzzle is to make all the different connections you can possibly make without retracing your steps even once. So here you can't go down or to the right because you've already made those connections. You're going to have to go up. And there you go. That should do it. There. All fixed. If you want to, you can press the reset button at any time to reset the puzzle. And also to change your starting point. Say one starting point doesn't really work for you, well, switch to the other one. That would be my advice. My rather obvious and easy to figure out advice. Alrighty, it looks like I have the right hand side of this board completely filled. Hooray for me. And here we go! Puzzle solved! That should do it. There. All fixed. And hey, as long as Scott's not here, I think it's time to do a little bit of snooping. What's that sound? This sound? As long as you're making sure that everything looks right, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I know what I'm doing here. That's Scott. This headset must have some kind of wireless connection to his cell phone. I wonder who he's talking to. Congratulations! Any chance you can keep your act together so that the rest of the world doesn't also know what you're up to? No one suspects a thing, Brooke. Brooke? That's the name of the leader of that rival chase team. So they are secretly in love with each other! I knew it! Let's try to keep it that way. You worry about keeping up your part of the deal. I've got everything and everyone under control out here. So Scott is having secret meetings with Brooke. Very, very suspicious. Looks like I need a key. I think I have this key, right? We found a key near the antennas. It's the key to Scott's desk drawer. Do the tenure committee? Oh, he just got denied tenure. Ouch! I guess that means this is his last year working at Canute College. Could this information have driven Scott over the edge and caused him to sabotage his own team? Perhaps, perhaps not. We'll find out later on in this game. For now, let's see if there's anything else we can see here in the office. No, I saw that already. Saw that. Saw that. Oh, here's something new. What is this? 
It's the ground. Right. We can look at the ground. Ooh, and we can turn on the radio. There's some kind of residue on the blade. Hmm, smells like... coolant. Oh no! But, but, does that mean Scott broke the coolant cable inside the car? You know this one right over here? Where is it? Where is it? Right over here. Mice? I don't know. Looks to me like this was made by the knife I saw in Scott's office. I agree, Nancy. It's starting to look like Scott is our culprit, and I think we will have to confront him with this information. As soon as he gets back, but in the meantime, let's explore around this area, as long as Chase isn't here. Anything cool over here that we can look at? He's got an awful lot of candy around. Oh, hey. Chase isn't here, so does that mean we can steal his paw pennies? I shouldn't take Chase's pennies. Yeah, stealing is wrong. So let's not take any of his pennies. Let's continue snooping around. Okay, we have a newspaper article. And what's back here? Alright, we have a lot of paw pennies. And anything else? Anything else? Ooh, these boots! Remember, Chase was talking to these boots earlier? Looks like Chase stepped in that oil puddle I saw by the sprinklers. Or are there other puddles of oil around here? Interesting. So Chase was busy yelling at the oil that got all over his best boots. We are going to follow up on this plot line about Chase and his boots in the next video. For now, I'm going to resume snooping in the farmhouse. Oh, hold on a second. That's my cell phone. Hello? Nancy! Good. Glad I got you. You all right now? Everybody get through that storm? Yeah, we're all fine. Great. I was hoping so, but after something that big, thought I'd better check. While I got you on the phone, something's come up, and I could really use you down at the store. Please, hurry! Okay, I'll be right there. Yep, I'll be right there as soon as I finish snooping around in the farmhouse. Seeing as Debbie's not here, we can snoop around in her things, right? Right? No? Huh, looks like I can't snoop around in Debbie's area. Well, let's snoop around in Frosty's area. Anything to look at here now that Frosty is gone? Ooh, we have this. Oh, it's a cutout from Sassy Detective Magazine. Looks like Frosty wants the brand new car. That's very nice, but how is he going to be able to afford this car? I wonder. Hmm. Well, I suppose we'll find out more about that later on in this game. For now, off to Mon Paws. Pa sounded like he was in trouble, and I think Nancy is the person who can help him out. Okay. In case you can't tell, I'm not a very good driver. Before this video ends, I'd like to show you something funny that you might hear when you turn on the radio. How many times has this happened to you? Those days are over with the new Lockbuster Infinity. Made from space-age nanotubes, the Lockbuster Infinity opens every door.